It's a beautiful morning. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips, and we're back for another episode, y'all. But it's a special one. It's a special one because of this. In 2024, I have not done something that's one of my favorite things to do. What's that? That's crabbing. That's right, y'all. It's been almost a year since I last crab fish. And last year, in 2023, there was like a 20-year hiatus where I stopped crabbing and I decided to do it again, and I loved it so busy this year that i haven't had the chance and i'm starting my season late um to kind of give you an idea when i say starting my season late tomorrow's thanksgiving okay tomorrow's thanksgiving and i'm out here and i don't know how it's gonna be um last year 2023 in october was my best day at crab and i caught 36 crabs 36 crabs in one day i'm a month late i don't know what's gonna happen in november the temperature is about 70 75 so the water is not super cold which is good okay Another mistake I made, I got out here and realized I don't got no water. That's like my lifeline. Luckily, I have a backup little bottle of water, emergency water, just in case I forget. Um, secondly, I didn't check the tide. The tide is low right now. You, I, I base everything on what happened last year. It was raining, the tide was high, there was current flow. It, it's opposite. I can see the oyster beds. It's, it's not a good look right now. You forgot your water, you didn't check the tide. The only thing, only positive thing, come on, think of something positive, man. I'm out here in God's country, America. There's no mosquitoes. I, I, I'll say that. That's a positive thing. So I'm going to throw out some nets, do a couple of test nets, and see what I can do. If not, maybe um, I'll go fishing. I have my, my fishing gear as a backup plan. Other than that, this is just going to be a crabbing video. I might do a crab and cook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> catch crab and boy. You know what I'm saying? Can I catch crabs? I don't think so, but we'll see. Enjoy the episode, y'all. Lego. All right, y'all, so when it comes to crabbing, I keep it simple, man. There's only two types of quote-unquote techniques that I use. One is going to be a double ring net, which you just simply drop it in the water. It lies flat. Put your chicken here, right there. Check about every 10 to 15 minutes, pull it up, and hopefully you have some crabs in there. Simple concept. Um, yeah, something else I learned as well, I tried a lot of different baits, but hands down, personally, I believe that Drumsticks, fresh drumsticks are the best baits for crabbing. So that's one thing I'm using. The second thing I'm using is this, the old school free line technique. This is a combination of something I came up with myself. Um, right here is a little weight and little clip that I connected to my meat, right? This is actually for crabbing. It normally comes with like yarn with this, but I chopped that. I got a kite string and a handle with that and kind of modified it. So this is a kite handle with string, and this is a little free line crab trap. I'll try to remember to put the links in the description of this if you want to kind of create this. Toss it out there, you're gonna have tension. When you see tension, slowly pull it up, use your net, scoop them up. This is one of the most funnest, frustrating ways to try to catch crabs, but I think I perfected the technique and whatnot. Um, all in total, I have about six of these nets um about six of these so i normally have about 12 traps going at once like i said tide is low i made that mistake i might have to relocate and come back at 12 when tide is high so i'm not gonna put all my traps out i'm only probably gonna put three out do a little test run to see if anything's out there before i set up my whole set yeah see what we can do if all this fails i got some chicken i can eat the thing about freelining is that you know, you want to toss it out, but the more line you toss it out, the deeper it goes, which is great because they're going to be deeper, right? Only problem is if they grab onto it and you're 20 feet out there, that's a lot of slowly pulling in to try to get that crab before he may or may not let go. So, get some line out. Let's guesstimate. here just toss it out all right I didn't have enough line it's okay though we're gonna let it ride let's wrap it around peel it one time sit it right there all right that's it you don't got to be a rocket scientist to crab you just got to be smart enough to remember check the tide to know when's a good time to come I checked the wind wind is straight Check for rain. Yeah, forgot about the tide. That is crucial. High tide is what you want to do with crabs. 
they come closer to your structure, whether you're fishing or crabbing off a pier, the rocks, a boat ramp, look for high tide. I'm out here just pretty much tanning at this point because I'm gonna have to get really lucky. Let me put some of our GoPro gear on so you can watch me in 4K not catch a damn thing. All right, nothing that round. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is set the rest of my traps. It's 8.30. I'll give it to 10 a.m. We'll go all out until 10 a.m. Let's see what we can do. What's the goal, man? If they're biting, well, at least a dozen. Yeah. All right, let's check our free line. It's headed that way. I don't know if that's the current or... Yeah, I think that's the current. Feels really weird. Why is my chicken thing going back that way? Is something swimming with it or am I tripping? Hold on, y'all think we actually got one on? Yeah, I think the crab is swimming with it. Yeah, 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 baby. Come to pop. Come to pop. Oh yeah, this is a nice one, y'all. It's swimming towards my net over here. See, this is what I don't like about all the extra line is that it's um it's hard to get to. Okay, so it's still here. So now we gotta gotta creep and get it. Could this be the first crab of 2024? Slower now. Take your time, baby. Take your time, baby. There you go. Take your time. He doesn't see you. He doesn't see you. He's swimming with it. It's a monster, baby. Take your time right now. Take your time right now. Take your time right now. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Oh yeah, first one of the day. There you go. All right, y'all. So we got one. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is what we came for. Is what we came for. That is a nice male keeper <laughs> on the rail they still out here baby look at them claws i know one thing i'm gonna have at least one sandwich one sandwich y'all <laughs> yeah let's put it in a bucket so i got him don't let go baby don't let go we just playing tug of war okay swim to the right towards my other net not good it's a game of inches y'all Game of inches. I still don't have color. Once I get color, I'll grab my net. Still don't got color, still don't got color. Gotta take your time. Don't let go. Okay, he's getting upset. Okay, I've got a little color. This is so hard to do with one hand when you're by yourself, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Come on. Don't let go. It's a keeper. It's definitely a keeper. He still got it. Oh, he sees my net. Relax. Relax. Pick it up, pick it up. Relax right now. We got him, we got him, relax. Relax, relax, got him. All right. Tore that chicken up. But it is a keeper though. We got us another keeper. <laughs> All right, so this is what you call shake and bake. There we go, here we go. Another one. Nice little rusty color. Got some meat to it, it looks like gonna shed pretty soon but that is a keeper for show and this is kind of talk about keepers <clears throat> here on a little bucket got a little gaze got this on ebay so the way you measure them you want to go from tip 
the tip right here, right? So as you can see, this one right here is super big. This is probably almost six, seven inches from tip to tip. That's how you know you got a keeper. Male, you see by the apron, it's kind of pointy. That's two, that's two. Two more to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah so I got, like I said, these are just kite handles. Remember earlier I said uh, these were just actual crab things? Found the bag I was talking about. Let's show y'all. Right there we go. Where the hell did I buy these from? I think on Amazon. There you go. Crab throw line. So it comes with this little yarn, which you can definitely use, but like I say, on Amazon, I got some kite handles and just kind of modified it. So I'll take all this string off, cut it off, and just replace it with that. And boom, you're good to go. So you want to check it out, crab throw line. Yeah, 28 feet. Oh yeah, here's a website. This is not sponsored, so to this company, if you happen to watch this video, you know, send your boy some free stuff because you get some free promotion. There you go. All right, perfect. I can see somewhat of color. I got a one-handed. Gotta get away from that stick. We almost got stuck on the stick and lost it. But we got it. All right, here we go. It is another male as well. Beautiful blue claws on. You see? Yeah, it's another keeper. Cause it's gonna get caught up in my other rope. It's gonna get caught in my rope. Okay, so I think it's caught in my other line. This is not good, y'all. It's not good though. We'll make it work. Yeah, it's caught in my other line. So we gotta... It's right on my other line. This is ugly, and I'll show you what I mean by ugly crab, which is a good thing. All right, so this is what we call a rusty crab. It's full of meat. It's not all pretty and blue, but that's good. Yeah, it's another male, brown. See, that's that nice looking blue on the claws. But yeah, that's gonna have a lot of meat in it. I believe this is number number four. Eight more to go. To the go. Yeah. All right, y'all. So it's been about 45 minutes since the last crab, aka number 11. It just died. Just when I need number 12. But I think number 12 may be on one of my lines right now. Did it let go that quick? It may be swimming with it. No, I think I let go. Got a hit on this one on the right too. No, it's there. It's definitely there. <sighs> I 
Okay, it's swimming with it. No, 12 is. Yeah, this is a keeper. I can feel it. This is really way out there. Come on, number 12. No, no, come back and get it back. Come back and pick it up. Come back and pick it up. There you go. There you go, number 12. Come on, number 12. Come on, number 12. Slow and steady wins the race right now. He ain't going nowhere. He got it. Once you see color, I need you to relax. I know this is the one. But you need to relax. Slow and steady wins the race, baby. Come on. Give me color. Still don't see it. can't see it y'all the sun is gone so I'm gonna have to assume it's right there still can't see it still can't see it come on come on number 12 I can't see you I can't see you don't let go Bro, I cannot see this damn crab. There we go. I see color. I can't see it enough to know where to scoop at yet. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Take your time right now. And we got it. Oh, we got it. We got number 12. Okay. So... Number 12 is a really nice crab. All right, so this is number 12. 12 is a huge crab. This is the PB of the day. As you can see, another male with a lice on it. It's all right, we're gonna still need it though. So yeah, this is number 12. This is a huge male, absolutely massive. Looks like it has a little lice on it right there. But we're still gonna need it. So we hit our goals today. Anything after this point is just bonus. And we're gonna have a, a crab ball when we get back to the house. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home, back in Houston. I hope you enjoyed the first segment of the episode, The Catch. Now, welcome to the Clean In Cook. So I ended up today with 13 keeper crabs. Honestly, if I would've went at the right time at high tide, I probably could've came home with a couple of dozen, but I'm not complaining, I'm blessed have my 13 that is more than enough to feed me and the fam okay so what i'm gonna show y'all today is my traditional steam boil that's it nothing crazy my, my traditional seasoning the way i'm gonna do it is traditional it's my favorite way to cook crab okay there's a lot of different opinions on how you can cook crab how long the seasoning some people get mad because you get all the butter out whatever it's preference right so i'm gonna show you how i like to do it and if you want to do it as well check out the video all right, y'all, so let me show y'all what we're working with today and get the party started. It's gonna be bomb. I'm hungry too, let go. All right, y'all, so let me show you what is involved in my actual steaming of my crabs. First, we're gonna go with petite potatoes. That's right, man. Let's give me some regular petite potatoes. Got these at Kroger's, small, get the job done, nothing fancy. Gotta have that. Next is corn, my favorite. Got to have your corn, you know what I'm saying? Depending on how many people you're cooking for, determines how much corn you're going to need. I think this is about eight, um, what is it called? Ears? Eight ears of corn? Why does ears of corn not sound right? Okay, we're going to call it ears of corn. Um, as far as seasoning, it's a combination of a few things. We got to go with this, right? This is the Louisiana crawfish shrimp and crab boil, okay? Now, I've tried many a different seasoning. I want to say Zatare, you know, of course you got Obey. As far as cooking, right, whether you're boiling or steaming crab or seasoning to steam the crab, this is my favorite one, you know, hands down. It has a great flavor, a, a kick to it. It got some spice. You, you like it spicy? And <laughs> this is it. Um, next is this right here. This is also Louisiana brand, as you can see here. This is crawfish, shrimp, and boil. 
concentrated. I don't know what it's concentrated with. I just know that it says like when you when you use it, <laughs> you're only supposed to use like a tablespoon. To be exact, it'd be like, you know, two tablespoons for craft, five minutes. Y'all, I'd be putting like a cup of this stuff into my boils. That might explain why I almost be dying every time I eat. Hmm. Super important, life hack, vinegar. Gotta have your vinegar. Now I learned on a Facebook group, I was part of a crabbing Facebook group, that vinegar in your boil or steam helps make taking the meat out of the shell easier. I didn't believe it at first. I tried it and it definitely makes the meat come out of your crab shell easier. And for some reason, I don't know if I'm tripping, but I would say like steaming with vinegar gave it like a more sweeter taste, all right? Now, once I do that, we're gonna go with my favorite seasoning is Old Bay, okay? Now, I don't necessarily cook with Old Bay, but once I do finish everything, my corn, my potatoes, my crab, I'm just, mm, let me cook, you know what I'm saying? I'm using this all on my stuff. Now, here's another life hack, okay? This right here, this is called boil and wrap, okay? Now, when you do crab boils, right? I have some really big pots here in the background. You throw your potatoes in there, you're scooping for days. You got crab, you got potatoes. It was really annoying because I couldn't tell was there, you know, more potatoes or crabs down there or corn. So I bought these, you can see, bags right here, right? So all you do is you take these, right? Get your corn, right? Boom. And I'll just put like six, seven corn in here, wrap it up. Come, come, come back. Uh, 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 there you go. Six or seven corn back up here, tie it up, and just drop it into my boil in a separate pot, right? This allows me to, once, I, once it's done, I just grab the whole bag out, drop it on a, a tray, done. There's no having to get tongs, there's no trying to scoop potatoes at the very bottom. No, these are a game changer. I do the same thing with the potatoes. I'll take the potatoes, get a bag, throw these in there, drop the whole bag in there. Boom, done ski, all right? So that's it, y'all. That is my combination of everything that I use for my steaming of my crabs. Um, all this right here is gonna take no longer than about 15 minutes to cook. So let me show you at the stove what I'm about to do next, and we're making progress. Deal. Are you following me? Okay. Oh, oh. oh moonwalk on them. Moonwalk on them. Oh, I love this camera. All right, come on, let's go. All right, so this next segment is gonna be controversial because it always is. No matter how many times I make this video, people always complain about this next part, okay? This is how I clean my crab, okay? Now, when I say clean my crab, here's my crab, all right? Here's my crab. Here is one of the big boys we had going on there. So I'll take a look at them. All right, now I need y'all to understand something. All right, these crabs have been covered in ice for about two hours now, right? So they're very lethargic. They're in a hibernation mode, you see what I'm saying? They're not dead, okay? No matter how many times I shoot this video, I tell people I cover my crabs in ice to make them go into hibernation mode, make them lethargic. That allows me to be able to handle them without trying to lose a finger, okay? They're not dead. I do understand you do not supposed to eat dead crabs. Fresh off the pier, fresh off the pier. They're alive, trust me, I don't drown them. I cover them ice, I open the spout on my cooler. I know what I'm doing, I'm, I'm a professional, right? So the crabs are alive. So what I'm showing y'all to do, or show y'all how to do is how I clean this crab that's alive, although it's sleep, okay? Another part of this segment that's always controversial, a lot of people just like to bore their crabs whole, which is fine. Some people like the mustard, okay? The crab butter, okay? Not a fan, all right? It's all about preference. If you don't like eating your crab whole, you don't have to, okay? If you like cleaning your crab, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Every time I do this, people in the comments get all mad. You're rinsing out the best part. No, I'm not. The best part is the part I'm cooking, all right? So I just wanted to get that out the way. Sorry for yelling. Let me show you how I clean my crabs. That's alive. All right. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put on some gloves first. There we go. And yeah, he's, he's knocked out. All right, so it's a combination of really three tools that I use, right? One, 
a knife, okay? Two, sometime if I want to be fancy, this is like a fish scaler. And three, life hack is a toothbrush to help get all the mustard and all the you know fatty stuff that y'all love to eat that I don't out a lot easier. Um, shout out to the old couple outdoors who taught me about the toothbrush trick. All right, so with this crab, this is what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna flip her over like this, right? As so. First thing I wanna do is take the apron off, okay? So we're just gonna get our knife. Hold on one second. Kind of go under like that. And we'll peel the apron off and crack it. Boom, that's step one, okay? Step two, this may get a little graphic. I call it curve check, okay? I get the legs, including the swimmer, and I grab them, get a good hold of them like this, okay? Like that. On the side of your sink, you're gonna put the crab right here. On the left hand, whatever side of sink you want, but if you're on this one, use your left hand and apply pressure, okay? You're gonna be pulling this way as you're grabbing the three legs, including the swimmer, okay? Apply that pressure, put it right in the corner. It's gonna get a little graphic. On the tip, on the pointer, you're gonna peel, peel slowly back, okay? Here we go. So you're gonna apply pressure and slowly pull back and it comes off just like that, okay? Now, this is the next step. I know a lot of people like eating this. Oh, that's that crab butter, mm-mm. No, no, I'm, I'm good on the butter, fam. I got butter in my refrigerator, okay? So we're gonna just put this to the side, a little bucket. Okay, so next step. All right, so we took off the face. It's dead at this point. Now it's dead, okay? Now it's dead. So we have this little thing right here, which is the mouth of it. I like to just get two fingers and just kind of go back and forth, twist that off. That's the mouth, all right? Next we have the gills, okay? They call this dead man's fingers. You do not want to eat this, okay? These are the gills, not the lungs. I told you, I'm a professional. All right, so what we're gonna do next is get my little bucket and just scrape those off. Just like that. All right, here we go. Perfect, perfect. All right, next. I know y'all about to get mad. All right, so next what we're gonna do is, as you can see, you have all that stuff in there that I don't wanna eat. So I turn on my sink, get my toothbrush, and we just start scrubbing out that gooey guts and innards. Yeah, I know. I know, you're mad, I, I understand. Listen, let me eat my crab how I wanna eat my crab, y'all. Is it okay with you? Can I eat my crab like I want to? I mean, the crab mustard is definitely an acquired taste, no doubt. And I just acquired not to eat it. All right, so that's it. All right, perfect. And that's it, y'all. That is a crab that is ready to be steamed. If you wanna boil it, you can boil it. That is all you have to do. It is really that simple. Look at that pretty thing right there, y'all. Amazing. Now, something else I like to do as well, to each his own. Once I do clean my crab, in order to plate it better or season it better or make sure that seasoning gets all in there because people think that steamed crab isn't really seasoned well. No, it really is. So what I'll do is, is just kind of go in and out, boom. And I'll take and make two clusters and have it just like that. Now this is ready to go into the pan with some seasoning and we're good to go. All right, y'all, so I got to do this about 12 more times. Um, once I finish cleaning all my crap, I'll show you what we're going to do next over here at the stove. Yeah, progress. Ooh, 30 minutes later, I'm done cleaning all crap. Let me give y'all a little look here. A little look here. As you can see, y'all, it's 26 clusters. Mm-hmm. All right, so what we're about to do next is, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, that seasoning is kicking my butt because we got our one pot here. That's gonna be for my corn and potatoes. I got that, that syrup, that concentrated syrup, and that seasoning in that one. 
I got my big pot here, which is a steamer. So when I got maybe like a couple of inches of water with a tray, then I'm gonna set all my clusters on top of that tray and just steam it for about 15 minutes. Now what I do is I put layers of each cluster along that tray, right? So just one layer, once I get that one layer, I just season, boom, a whole layer of seasoning. I do another layer, seasoning. Another layer of seasoning until I'm done. Put that top on. Ooh, that seasoning is kicking my butt. That's why you know it's good. When you start like, your eyes start watering and your nose start dripping, you know it's fire, right? All right, so the potatoes, okay? We cook the potatoes the same amount of time that we cook the trap, 15 minutes. The corn, the corn, we're gonna do that for about 10 minutes, okay? So let me get everything in the pot, start cooking. <clears throat> Cause I'm choking up. I'm gonna have to open up a window. I'm about to die. We're almost done. Home stretch. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, bro, I need a hazmat mask in here. N95. <clears throat> Gotta be careful, man. I've been with a lot of steam, so it's gonna come up. Here is my bag of potatoes. I'm gonna dip it straight in there. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. All right. That's good. All right. Next is my pot for my crabs. Gotta be careful, cause that steam is coming in hot. All right, here we go. So, now for a second, water looks good. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is just layer everything, okay? Ugh. One at a time. You just kinda go in a little circle. I already had a really big bag of the seasoning. Careful right now, and we're just gonna sprinkle it on there. There we go. Now, um, people who boil their crab, they say that it doesn't have any flavor when you season them. No, that's cap. That's definitely cap. Steam crabs have a lot of flavor, and they're just as good, I promise you and the meat comes out better. Because when you boil your crab, sometimes when you boil your crab, it can get kind of grimy or gritty, right? <clears throat> but it's all about timing, okay? Another controversy thing is how long do you steam your crab? Some people steam it for 10 minutes, some people do 25 minutes, 30 minutes, I do 15 minutes, okay? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I almost forgot. The corn, start a show. Gotta be careful, here we go, let it cook. <clears throat> Don't breathe. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. All right, 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes left for our crab to be steamed, 10 minutes left for the corn to be cooked, 10 minutes left for the potatoes to be done. It's all coming together, baby. It's all coming together. Now, next time I see you, I'm gonna show you the money shot. We're gonna do a little sample so we can eat. I haven't ate in almost 24 hours. I'm dying. That is it, y'all, that is it. This day started at, I think I left my house at six in the morning, drove 90 miles one way, I crashed for about three hours, drove 90 miles back. So we're talking about 180 miles for this crab. I already tried it, I'm telling you right now, it was worth it. It was totally worth it, man. I don't do a lot of catch and cooks because they're a lot of work, but you know, it's been a while, so I just wanted to you know, sometimes you gotta pop out, show people, you know, you still that dude, you know what I'm saying? So if you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up. If you want to join my fish and chip family? Please subscribe. Leave a comment below. What is your favorite crab? Snow crab, blue crab? I'm gonna tell you right now. Personally, I would take Texas blue crab over lobster. That's just me, though. Okay. Anyway, it's been real, y'all. I'm out. I'm so hungry. Peace. Okay.